2001 was a great year for BHP iron ore with many achievements and records broken. One of those records was a world record in our rail operations area. Achievements such as this is a great example of the need to get the most out of the investment that we've made in infrastructure, technology and equipment. It's only by doing this that we can ensure that we remain globally competitive. These achievements only occur with good planning and great teamwork. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved for the part that they played in what was a tremendous achievement. In a world of superlatives and record-breaking events, it's easy to become blasé about truly mammoth achievements. But on the 21st of June 2001, BHP Iron Ore set a world record for the longest and heaviest train, a tribute to BHP technology and progress. 7.353 kilometres long, 682 ore cars weighing 99,732.1 tonnes and carrying 82,262.5 wet metric tonnes of iron ore over a 275 kilometre segment of the journey from Newman to Port Hedland. Powered by eight AC 6,000 horsepower locomotives, the train made the trip in 5 hours and 24 minutes of journey time. Train number 3143 was assembled and run to test new technology and to evaluate the potential operational capacity of the Newman to Port Hedland Railway, used to transport iron ore from BHP's Newman and Yandy operations. These projects currently produce in excess of 60 million tonnes per annum. As with most great achievements, success was not attained without some setbacks. The journey was interrupted for 4 hours and 40 minutes when a defective coupler failed while climbing the Chichester range. Once repaired, two additional locomotives were used to push the train for about one kilometre to the top of the range before the train was returned to its original configuration. BHP operates up to nine loaded trains per day normally in size up to 224 ore cars with a payload of over 26,000 tonnes. The record-breaking train, over three times the size of the normal configuration, enables BHP to determine the integrity and safe limits of its railing operation. Railway personnel used a computerised train simulator to establish the optimum train configuration for running the record train and to assess the in-train forces likely to be encountered on the trip. Locomotive technician Tom Forrest was chosen as the sole driver of the record-breaking train. Just acknowledgement of his skill and more than 20 years experience in operating trains in the Pilbara region. Yet he appreciates that this is a team effort. Oh, there's a lot of people involved. We've got um, GE uh, from, uh, technicians here from America. Um, there's a lot of people involved uh, in Headland, uh, rail crew supervisors and and uh, people like that. And uh, there's just sort of there's a lot of, there's a lot of people put a lot of effort into getting this to where it is now. Tom operated the entire train by transmitting signals from the front locomotive through a solid state electronic system known as Locatrol 3 which controls remote power distribution in the other locomotives. The record train was the first opportunity to fully test the Locatrol system with a full complement of powerful AC 6000 locomotives and gave a valuable insight into the railroad's operating capacity and rolling stock capabilities. Even the temporary hold up through the ranges provided the company with valuable knowledge to avoid future delays. The achievement of a world record was a source of pride to BHP and Tom Forrest. Going out to break a world record and I think it's, everyone should be, you know, very excited about it. The achievement now presents BHP with an obvious question. Can the new record be broken? With the commitment the company has to advancing its technology, it may just be a matter of time.